So we all know that to become fluent in Spanish, the answer is practice, practice, practice. That's the last thing that you wanted to hear, right? Well, that's good news because I'm going to come up becoming fluent in Spanish at a completely different angle um, that's going to make it easy for you uh, to do so. So the first thing that I want you to do is to put your phone in Spanish. Now this isn't so that you can learn pointless, silly words like my status on WhatsApp. No. The reason to do this is to serve as a reminder. If you're going to become fluent in Spanish, what you need to do is to make it part of your life, to include it every single day in your life. What we can't do is make it something extra, something that you do 10, 15 minutes per day. We want to get out of that habit because that won't lead to fluency. So if you're anything like me, you probably use, open your phone 100 times a day, 500 times a day. Um, and every time you do so, you're going to be met with, oh, Spanish. And it's going to be a brilliant reminder that Spanish is now part of your everyday life. So what we're going to do in this video, instead of looking at Spanish as something extra that you have to try and fit in every single day and it's an inconvenience, what we want to do is make it part of our lives. And the easiest way to do that is just to go about your daily, uh, your normal daily life as you would in English, but replacing certain things in Spanish. It's as simple as that. And your phone is a great tool. So the first thing that we want lots of, um, if we're gonna become fluent in Spanish, is lots of input. So uh, we want things um, like listening. So it could be um, YouTube or television, radio. Um, something that's really great um, for listening is um, Spanish news. American, the American CNN news channel has the Spanish version and I really do recommend listening to that. Listening to the news is nothing like watching a normal television programme because the newsreader um, speaks more slowly, they articulate more, they don't use slang. From the things that appear on screen you can pretty much get a gist of what they're talking about. It's brilliant. But there's something that's much better than listening. Um, to Spanish and that's reading. If you're going to become fluent in Spanish the best way is to read. Now it doesn't have to be a novel, um, it doesn't even have to be an entire say blog post. What you can do and especially to begin with when you when you start out you don't want to um, you don't want to become overwhelmed so what you want to do is you know if you're anything like me you get silly questions that pop into your head throughout the day um, instead of doing the search on Google in English, do it in Spanish. And maybe it will just be that little um, snippet answer um, paragraph that Google displays at the top. Give that a go, see if you can read it. Um, and if you can't, look up the words. If you're completely baffled, try something else. Um, but give that a go. That's such an effective way. Reading is brilliant because reading is slow. When we compare reading um, to listening, listening, we need, lis we need to listen to Spanish in order to become fluent, of course, but reading is so much more effective. I'll give you an example. Suppose you were to move to a new city and you had to learn um, your little part of the city, the zone, you had to learn um, all the streets, all the shops. What would be the most effective way of learning? Would it be by car, do you think? You can cover certainly a lot more ground if you uh, travel by car. But the problem is, is when you do so, everything is zooming, zooming past and you can't really take it in. Now compared driving in a city that you're not aware of to walking around, walking is so much slower, obviously, and you get time to absorb your surroundings. You notice things that you would never ever notice um, in a car and it, you, you get your bearings. And yeah, it's slow and it takes time to, to, to get around, but it's so much more effective. And that's the, 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 the comparison that I draw between um, listening and reading. Reading is like walking around in a city. It's slow. You get time. Um, you can read at the pace that you're comfortable with. You can stop, you can look up a word. 
it's so much more effective. Seeing the words written will help you with uh, your written Spanish. Um, you'll see the grammar structures there. You'll see them over and over again. When you listen, when you're listening to Spanish, everything is going past so fast and you can't quite catch what they're saying and, and you're not going to be able to understand everything. And that's why reading is so effective in order to become fluent. So we've looked at input. Another thing that you want to be doing for uh, fluency in Spanish is output. So output is speaking and writing. Now, first of all, I'm going to look at writing. Writing is a fantastic way to improve your fluency in Spanish. Now, by writing, what I have in mind is, say, uh, finding a language partner online. There's plenty of websites out there, and soon I'm going to make a um, YouTube video dedicated to apps and websites where you can find language partners. So make sure to hit subscribe and the bell as you'll be notified for when that comes out. Um, if you find a language partner online, if you haven't got too great a level of Spanish, writing is brilliant because writing is slow. It's the equivalent to, to, to reading. You can take your time. Um, you can really think about how to construct the sentences. You can look up words. The other great thing about writing in Spanish is Spanish is pretty much a phonetic language. So once you've learned the alphabet, you can read Spanish, you can read any word. So you might be worried that, okay, I'm only writing, um, I'm not getting any speaking practice, but it will help with your speaking because you'll know how to pronounce the words. We contrast it with, say, English. English is such a headache. Our words are rarely phonetic, um, and until you hear the word spoken, you haven't got a clue how to pronounce it. Spanish is the complete opposite. It's about as phonetic as a language could be. So utilize writing. It's a fantastic tool. It's something that I use and it will really help you. The other great thing about um, doing it this way, um, say reading things that you would ordinarily do in English, is you're not doing the typical formal study that's laborious, it's confusing, it's hard work, you know, with a grammar book, it's boring. You're just replacing what you wanted to do in English with Spanish. And so it's enjoyable. And writing's the same. If you can find a language partner online, if you can find someone that you enjoy chatting to, you learn Spanish by osmosis, you become fluent by osmosis. Your focus is talking to that person online and you enjoy talking to them and you lose yourself in the conversation and you learn Spanish as a result of that enjoyable conversation. That is key. Formal study is so boring. I'm not saying it's not necessary and we don't need a grammar book from time to time, but it's hard work. We want to make language learning as fun as possible and to just replace what you would do with your own first language, replace it with Spanish, that is key. So last of all, uh, the thing, last thing is speaking. Speaking is vitally important for obvious reasons, but don't ever think that speaking um, is the be all and end all. Really, input, reading, listening as well, reading is the most important. Uh, reading is where we learn all the vocabulary and the grammar and everything. And speech is where we put that into practice. Think of a small child. A small child, uh, for its first few years of life, is just listening, 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 listening. Very little output, very little speech, obviously. Um, and that's the way we want to be. Don't obsess over um, speaking. Speaking is the result of you getting lots of input. Um, and again, speaking, great way to do that. Find a language partner online once you get comfortable. Um, you've got that base vocabulary. Um, sign someone online that you enjoy chatting to or whatever you want to do. And uh, yeah, talk to them. You lose yourself in the conversation, enjoy talking to them. And you get Spanish, you become fluent in Spanish. As a result, win-win. That is the way that I enjoy learning languages and that is the way that I think that I've been successful um, in learning three languages. Um, it's fun. You don't want to give up because you're just replacing what you would ordinarily do in life with, with, with the foreign language. So give that a go. Um, if you do, um, if you are a beginner in Spanish, um, I have on this channel a course, a Spanish course, completely free. You can see previous lessons up there on the board behind me. 
and it's a completely different way of learning a language. Uh, it's a unique way. Um, it's not your formal type as you can imagine. Um, give it a go, especially for those that have tried to learn Spanish, failed, tried, failed. They just find everything so confusing. Um, you get all these uh, difficult words like conjugation and, and future tense, past tense. We take all that out. I take all that out, I should say, the role we. I take all that out with the Spanish course here on this channel and try and give you it as simple as possible. There's no technical jargon. Um, so give it a go. I'll put a link at the end of this video um, so you can give the course a watch. Um, but it's well worth it. Also on this channel I have um, short stories, uh, really interesting short stories and they can help increase your vocabulary. So give those a go. Um, you'll hear them spoken and you'll, hear them, uh, you'll see them written um, in Spanish and English so you can compare side by side. I'll put a link as well at the end to those. So there you go. Those are my tips on how to become fluent in Spanish. Now I'd like to hear from you. What's been your experience? Why have you come here today um, to this video? What have been your struggles? How have you um, become fluent in Spanish or a different language? What would you like to share um, in the comments um, with other people? Any tips that you've got? What do you think to the um, recommendations, to the advice that I've given today? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know. In the comments below I read every single comment and I reply to well at the moment as we're a new channel I reply to every single one so make sure to do that um, I've got a Q&A as well a Spanish Q&A this month in November um, and you can be a part of that if you've got any questions um, I'll tell you a bit more in a second um, but if you have enjoyed what I've said today please help this channel out and give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe um, you subscribe, got weekly videos and also the course, um, there's lessons being added every single week so make sure to subscribe as well. If you want to take part in the Q&A, all you've got to do is uh, leave your question down below, it can be anything you like, um, it can even be uh, on Hispanic culture, I live in Argentina, um, so anything you want to know about South America or Argentinian culture, just ask and you'll be included in the November Q&A. Without a doubt, because this is a new channel and hardly anyone is taking me up on the offer, which I can't believe. So take advantage. Um, it will be um, recorded at the end of this month. So leave me a comment um, with any question that you've got. So anyway, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, I'll see you next week.